Welcome back to another episode of Field Trips. Today we are up the Noto Peninsula in a town called Suzu. Uh, there is a small island that kind of jets out off the peninsula. It is called Mutsukejima. Uh, it's just right there. And uh, luckily there's a campground we found that's really close. In fact, it's less than 200 meters from where I plan to take my photograph. Of course, you've got the sound of the sea to listen to and uh, I think overall we're just going to have a nice little relaxing Saturday, uh, wait for the sun to go down and then I will probably get up really early in the morning when the tide is higher and uh, try and get a photo that I am after at that time. So as you can see right now on the front side here, the sun's hitting it pretty hard. I'm expecting the sun to actually set and light up the other side. Uh, it's really contrasty if you look kind of down the middle of it, it's quite dark on the other side. Hopefully the sun kind of sets in a more neutral position and uh, we have a little bit of light on both sides. But uh, yeah, pretty nice spot all around. time here let's just uh, do a quick rundown with what is actually in my bag today starting with uh, I've got a set of remote controllers I have those tucked into a divider pocket I have the Fuji X-T4 mounted with the 16 to 55 I've also got the uh, Fuji X-Pro3 mounted to a 14 millimeter and then I have uh, Mavic Pro controller uh, that is to fly the DJI Mavic which is charging down below that will sit right here and below that I have a battery for when this one runs out also of note I have filter wrap tucked into my laptop sleeve and I also have another GoPro in here uh, this is the GoPro Max probably won't use this but it's there just in case I feel the need uh, inside the shoulder strap pockets, at the moment I don't have anything, I'll tuck my phone in here a little bit later, but in the water bottle pocket, I have uh, one of these magnetic uh, GoPro holders. Basically if I have a GoPro in my hand, but I, I actually need my hands, I can just uh, quick clip it to here and uh, that will take care of it for the time being. Up top, not a lot in here right now, I've got a headlamp and I have a book. Uh, basically the headlamp is for the early morning and as as well as reading in the back of the van at night. Inside the front panel pocket uh, I've got spare Fuji batteries and a couple of GoPros and I will put uh, the exhausted batteries into this side. I did have this down jacket in here but I've recently put it on because it got a little cooler earlier. And in the side, I've been packing uh, this old Fiesel tripod. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be in the water today, so I wanted something a little more stable for the job. And of course, that sits right inside my tripod pocket. And uh, I think that's about it. I'm just going to uh, pack all this stuff up again and uh, maybe just chill out for a bit. It was a little busy here, uh, surprisingly no photographers. Maybe tomorrow morning there'll be more, uh, but right now it's pretty quiet, just a couple tourists, and uh, that's about it. I noticed on uh, Google Maps it said, uh, as busy as ever, and uh, there was about 10 people here, so 
That's a good sign. Well, the visuals are pretty nice right now. Just bringing the drone down low on battery, but I wish I had more. I kind of want to save it for tomorrow because it's looking pretty beautiful. At the same time, I want to shoot photos, so it's a whole mess. Well, I think I'm squeezing uh, every last bit of light out here. Uh, I think I should pack it up actually, but it's been really nice. Uh, I mean, how can you complain about this? It's beautiful, kind of funny right now. They actually have two giant spotlights right there. So you can see on me, it's giving nice light, but it's also giving a bit of foreground light to the, uh, the walking path of rocks that I assume is uh, not natural and is man-made. So I'm just going to uh, milk these last moments and uh, head back to the van, grab some sushi I think, and then uh, get some sleep and start again tomorrow. Hey. hey. Hungry? So done. So done. Good morning from Mitsukejima. What I had hoped was this pathway leading up to the island would have water running through it. I've seen images before at high tide where uh, just the tops of the rocks are showing. So I kind of hoped uh, I could get some motion running through the rocks, but that doesn't look like it's gonna happen today. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to learn a little bit more about the tides and come back when the water is a little higher.
Well, I think that's gonna wrap up another episode of Field Trips. Uh, we do have quite a bit of driving uh, to deal with today and we would like to stop at one more spot, uh, just kind of reconning it for uh, early May. I just want to see the current state of that area. Um, but yeah, once again, I had the Explore 35 with a large DSLR core unit. Great setup for this, you know, a couple of camera bodies, couple of lenses, had a drone, had the Pro Controller. I think I have a total of three GoPros, a couple of, uh, uh, one GoPro selfie stick, one uh, GoPro, the newer Volta uh, handheld tripod. I had a travel tripod and I also have uh, this bigger Fiesel tripod that I don't use a lot, but I wanted it because I knew I was coming to the water. So the Explore 35 handles it all with ease. And uh, on that note, I think it's time for me to head back to the van. We'll see you next time. Take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.